What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 Zero, and today I'm going to show you how to make an spectator camera and um, basically it's like a drone so uh, you know you can do this when you want but uh, for example when you die or you want to like go into a fly mode um, drone mode or whatever you can use go um, and use search around or whatever and then go back into the player it's gonna be a very easy video to follow so let's get started alright so the first thing that we're going to do is create the spectator camera which is gonna be very easy for us because um, Unreal Engine kind of has already this created so we can just go into content browser and basically right click go into blueprint class and if it loads uh, there we go we can just go into all classes okay and now let's just uh, search for spectator and there we go we have the spectator pawn okay this one so you select it and then we can just name it uh, BP um, spectator camera and double click to open it now we don't really have to do anything here but I will show you if you want to like change uh, any of its parameters all right you can see it has opened and literally one of the only things that we have uh, it is a, a movement component and basically you can uh, like if it was like player okay you can just change uh, these things here uh, the floating palm movement you can change the max speed the acceleration the acceleration and the turning boost um, into whatever values you want I'm guess you're gonna leave by default but um, you can change uh, your parameters a good speed is up there all right so now let's integrate it to a player so we want to for example and that we're playing a game and then we hit a key and we change into that camera okay and then we go can go back into that one so let's go ahead and open the third person blueprint here we go and let's just find the spot over here i have all the things from other tutorials but it doesn't matter uh so let's create a new input action so i'm just gonna go into edit uh press settings and basically we are going to set a new key um so we can press it so you go into input on here and under engine and then we can see that we have uh, action mappings and uh, just press this uh, this one and we'll add a new one and for example uh, spectator camera okay and now what we can do is just uh, press this keyboard um, icon and what we can do is just uh, press any uh, key that we want so for example can you press pressing my keyboard uh, the P and it will be assigned also for a controller or gamepad it, it also works so it's very easy to do this uh, yeah uh, the switch player is from other tutorials okay so it's another thing but okay now just right click and spectator oh sorry to the camera here we go under action events just click it and we have here on pressed so just drag this on here and what we do is just um, spawn actor from class so now we can just select this and we can uh, search for our um, BP spectator camera that we created earlier so now what we can do is make that um, it will always spawn ignore collisions um, just to make sure that it will always spawn even when we are kind of on a wall and that you know it will not be the best one so actually um, it would be better to use this one uh, try to use a location and uh, but always spawn okay so this one so maybe if it's on a wall it will kind of uh, adjust the location but spawn so this is what we want actually all right so now let's spawn it in a um, in a position we need to set a position that we want in my case i'm just gonna uh, get the current camera location so there's like a seamless transition so you drag the full camera and you say get transform and let's just add uh, here uh, get world transform and we can just pass this over here there we go and then what we can do is just compile and save now you will see that right now if we actually press play and press p nothing actually happens but you can see on here that i expect that your camera has actually appeared but of course we are not controlling it so what we're going to do is go back into a third person so what we're going to do is just right click get player controller so we have to basically get the uh, player controller drag this and then um just write possess so now what we can do is possess any object well any pawn that we want uh we have a reference to get a player controller so we can just get the uh, turn value of the spectator camera that we have just created so now we hit play 
and I'm just playing third person like if I would press I press P now I'm moving in the spectator camera as you can see and it looks really really cool and the cool thing is that it has kind of collisions for like things um, for, like the walls and things like that and actually uh, well there's certain stuff that you don't collide but you can change it of course but it looks really cool but of course if I press P again and I'll go back into my player so we're gonna go back in our spectator camera uh, let's go into the event graph and what we're going to do is just call the you know the event action that we created before so it was a spectator camera here in action events and what we're going to do uh, is just get all actors of class because of course our player has not been destroyed it's still on the scene but now we can use search for pawns and my guess is a bb uh, third person character but of course you can use whatever character you have and then on all actors you say get a copy we go and we will just get the first one that we have because right now i only have one player in the scene there's no problem but you know if you were to have more uh, players in the scene maybe you will need to do something different but okay you can just uh, get again the uh, player uh, controller over here and then drag this and say process here we go and just drag this over here and there we go and plug this in on pawn and then what we can do is just a delay of uh, uh, until next tick so it will wait one frame and then we can just um, destroy this actor destroy the the camera so it, it isn't like floating and then we create another one or whatever so now we can actually uh, press play we are with a player press p we are another drone really really cool and then what we can do is just press P again and we are back in our player. And we can do this once and once again. So yeah, that was it guys. If you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe um, to the channel and like the video. Uh, if you have any uh, Unreal Engine tutorials that you want to see, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And now yes, with all that said, bye bye.